Hi guys, Tech James here. So I was actually looking on eBay recently, I was looking for some PSP memory cards and stuff like that, and I actually found a memory card that was for sale um, that said it already had emulators and custom firmware installed on it. Now it was a bit more expensive than a normal memory cards. I think I paid about £10 for this or something like that. But anyway, we are just going to unbox this now and put it on my PSP and see if it was actually worth the money. So um, I've already opened it, but I'm just opening it again for the video. And this is basically what it's like. It's just like a duo adapter. And right here, it's just got a 16 gigabyte micro SD card. So this is definitely not an official PSP memory card. Um, they're very expensive actually. So you pretty much have to get these like adapters now um, if you actually want a decent one for a decent price. So yeah, it was a 16 gigabyte um, SD card with a duo adapter. And apparently this has 6.61 Pro custom firmware on. I'm not sure which one. And they said it also has, I think it was 8 or 9 emulators, um, no games. They said there was no ROMs either because um, that's like illegal for them. But let's just test this out on my PSP. So I've got a PSP here, I don't really use this one, but it does have 6.61 um, official firmware on. So let's just put in this um, SD card and then we can test out and see if it was actually worth the money or if I just got ripped off. And then I'll tell you guys if it's probably worth buying or, you know, if it's just a waste of time. Alright guys, so on the PSP now, the first good sign is it doesn't ask um, the card to be formatted, which is good. It probably means they've already formatted, um, you know, the card on another PSP. So let me just show you um, in my system settings right here, I'm actually just on um, 6.61 official. So if they said, um, if they got it right, like they said, they should have the custom firmware I need to use. So let's just take a look, 14 gigabyte free space. Um, so, oh, and it's apparently 15 gigabytes. So that's probably about right. This could be a fake um, SD card, but I'm pretty sure it isn't. But let's just have a look anyway. So we have got um, the Nintendo 64 emulator. Is this the newest version? Let's take a look. Uh, version 1.1.4. Yes, that is actually the newest 2018 update. So that's good. We have also got Pico Drive on here, version 1.91. Um, I'm not too sure if that's the latest version. I think it might be. We've got Nesta J. Um, this is the 2012 version. So there's actually a newer version of this. There's a 2016 version. So this definitely isn't the latest update. This is a NES emulator though. And Pico Drive, uh, Sega Master System emulator. So we've got Capcom Play System 1, Capcom Play System 2. We've got Master Boy, which is a Game Boy and Game Boy Color emulator. This is definitely the latest version. We've got GPSP, which is a Game Boy Advance emulator, one of the better ones. I think Temp GBA is the best, um, but this one is pretty good as well. Then we've got the Firmware Flasher. Now, they probably shouldn't have included that because this could actually brick your device if you're not on a PSP 1000. Uh, but we've got Fast Recovery and the Pro Update. We've also got a SNES emulator and an Atari emulator. I haven't actually done a video on that, so let's just boot into the custom firmware right now and um, see if it works. So it did say it was 6.61, so that is fine. I think they gave the choice of 6.61 or 6.60. So if you guys did want to buy one, uh, you could choose. So let's just uh, launch this real quick. Keep in mind guys, I would not recommend buying these. All of these emulators that are stored on this, I have videos for on my channel. They're all free, you can just download them. Um, but what I will be doing is actually leaving up a pack of this SD card so you guys can just download it and get all the emulators for yourself without actually having to pay £10 for something that's really cheap. So if I was to buy the SD card that's in this, I could buy it on Amazon for around about £4. I could also buy the adapter it comes with for £1 and that's basically exactly half the price. Instead of paying £10, I'd be paying paying five pounds and I would be getting exactly the same thing. So I will upload maybe like a Google Drive or Mega Link with all these emulators in. I'll leave out the custom firmware because that just seems a bit pointless. But yeah, um, so would I recommend buying this? Um, no, definitely not. Seeing as you can get exactly the same thing for literally half the price or even cheaper if you want to, it's really just not worth it. And these don't have ROMs, um, I'm pretty sure we can just try one out. Let's try Game Boy Advance. They did say in the listing that it doesn't come with any ROMs. And I think most people that are buying these probably don't even know how to get the ROMs. So, um, yeah, it does seem a bit weird. 
and yeah, you can see there's no ROMs at all. I don't even think this has the BIOS with it. But yeah, that is pretty much it for this video. I just wanted to buy one of these things and just test it out. And maybe one of you guys was considering of buying this. So, you know, it's definitely uh, just not worth it at all. So make sure to check out the link in the description if you guys want to get all these emulators in one pack for free. Thanks for watching and I will see you guys in the next one.